everybody, welcome to this month's question of the month. And as you know, I, I take a question in from the uh, website and uh, I answer it on film just like this. If you want to submit your own question, go to yoganatomy.com forward slash uh, my question. So this question comes from Stretch Cunningham. How do long femurs in relation to body height affect handstands and jump throughs? More generally, which postures are easier for someone with this body type and which postures are harder? Well, first, um, remember that when, when we say long femurs, we're saying long femurs in relationship to the rest of the body proportions. Like, is it long femurs relative to a short torso or is torso height, femur length, and arm length all relatively proportionate? That's what ends up mattering more than anything. Um, your specific question was about handstands and jump throughs. Um, and there is a little bit of a tendency, it, you didn't say all of this, but long femurs usually imply somebody who's particularly tall and, well, your name is Stretch Cunningham, so I'm going to guess you're a tall person. Um, it is a little bit trickier in handstands for people with long bodies to kind of control uh, the, the sort of if we want to say the core of the body while being upside down. But having said that, I know people who are really long and tall and stretch kind of people who can do handstands. So it's not an impediment, that's for sure. Getting more specific with the jump throughs, uh, of course, if you've got long femurs, they've got to be tucked in tighter. Uh, they Again, it also depends on the arm length. If you had short arm length, long torso, and long femurs, you know, that's tricky to work with. Um, and in general, going back to your next question, which is um, which postures are easier and harder, I think the most common thing that I see is people with long femurs have a much easier time binding around a knee that's sitting higher when you're sitting on the floor. Um, of course, arm length, Shoulder mobility also has an impact on that. Um, and which ones are harder? I, I, I don't find generally postures being harder with longer femurs. The only place it shows up is where you asked in the first question, which is relative to jump throughs. And, and again, you, you want to look at that relative to the rest of the body. All right. Uh, if you've got a question, again, go ahead and submit it yoganatomy.com forward slash my question. See you next month.